Hey everybody, it is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, uh, March 13th, 2018. And uh, I drew another naked trunk for you guys, so hope you folks like that. Freaks. Um, it's about 5, it is, it's not about, it's exactly 5.30 p.m. while I'm recording this. Uh, it's so hard to choose what topic to, uh, to draw from all the Trump stuff. And I think I want to do something on Trump today and then something else happens. Like firing Rex Tillerson. Uh, so, I drew this um, image uh, with Trump naked in a tub having his back scrubbed. Uh, almost exactly two years ago, I drew it in March of 2016. Except I had Chris Christie washing his back. Can you believe Chris Christie has been kissing that orange ass for two years now? Yeah. Alright. So have every other Republican in the world. No, Christie was first. Because the other Republicans had to catch up to Chris Christie's book kissing. So, yeah. I don't really care about doing something that I've done before. Like stealing from myself. Plagiarizing myself because it's me. I don't mind. Too much. So... And I figured if I do it every two years, it's all right. It's all right. All right. I promised you folks yesterday about some shout outs and I'm going to go ahead and uh, give them before I don't before I forget. Before I don't remember. <laughs> That's not a proper sentence. I just finished today's Spanish lesson, so my English is going to be really, really bad today. That's my excuse anyway. All right. We're going to start with Ariel, who, is, uh, who also has stripper stories, it seems. Oh, about the stripper story? Uh, yesterday I told you the stripper story about Sunshine. Right whenever I was posting the video, I remembered that I was wrong about her name. It was not Sunshine, but at least I got a cartoon out of it. Um, her name was Heaven, and I don't know why I'm so sure of that, because I was so sure it was Sunshine, but I know it was Heaven now. Huh, weird. But I think I remember because the way she said it, she was like, it's Heaven. No, Heaven. Anyway, this is a stripper story. In case you didn't hear it, uh, go back and read. Um, read. I'm still getting used to going to, to uh, this video stuff. Go back to episode 36 and you'll hear the stripper story about um, a stripper who wanted to wash my drummer's hair with her feet. Nasty feet. Alright, now I'm going to start with the shoutouts. And I, uh, Ariel made me think about that. Of course it's Ariel. There's nothing wrong with Ariel. Alright, <laughs> Ariel commented on episode 37. Quana came in and uh, acted like a normal human being. Emily came in and acted like a normal human being who uh, does not want me to curse anymore on here. She was nice about it. It wasn't like she w wagging her virtual finger at me. And Robert Cotino came in and told me I should probably get some sleep. I did sleep today, about three hours. So, you guys be happy about that. Can I sleep for three hours? Did I just kill that? No, I didn't. Okay. See, I'm clicking things around. Because I don't remember things. I have to go look at them. And now, uh, number 36. Of course, Earl. Talking about daylight saving time. Uh, yeah. Gave me an English lesson on daylight saving or savings time. She says it can. It is daylight savings in the possessive form. It is not daylight savings, the plural form. All right. All right. Uh, and then Juana and Robert Cotino. And uh, Thomas, mummy. He's pretty new. That's cool. What did Thomas talk about? Oh, Thomas wanted to talk about comedies. He uh, was talking about Hot Fuzz. Hey, do you like Mr. Bubbles? That was from those last editions. I was trying to think of stuff to put in here. So I put in the sponge. Because you know you can't give Donald Trump a bath without there being a sponge. I really like the way the shoe turned out. I should probably actually talk about the cartoon more than I'm talking about strippers. And uh, Thomas Mummy wanted to talk about movies. But Thomas, I guess I was talking about uh, comedies. In that episode, and he was, uh, he asked me if I liked Hot Fuzz and Paul. Uh, I like the Cornetto trilogy, all three of them. Um, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. That's the Cornetto trilogy. Now, both actors are in Paul, but the, but it did not have the same director and writer. So, um, Paul is not a part of the Cornetto trilogy. Paul is an American movie. It's not a British movie. So... That's why the Cornetto Trilogy, I do like Paul, but the Cornetto Trilogy movies are so much better because it has that British wit and humor, and the Brits are much better at that kind of stuff than we are, you know. But I have a friend who cannot stand 
the Shaun of the Dead movies and everything because she's like uh, from the West Virginia part of Ohio. <laughs> so she's never gonna watch this video because she doesn't have the attention span for it. So I mean, I love her. She's a friend, but yeah. Oh yeah, and Emily commented on 36 too. What did she say? She likes the lettering and stuff and uh, and she mentioned Star Wars The Last Jedi is available. Um, Digital Tomorrow. She wrote this yesterday, so she's talking about today. Uh, I pre-ordered The Last Jedi and uh, it came in this morning. Um, I pre-ordered it on Google Play and that way I don't own a physical copy, but I own it. And it's, uh, and I watched some of it today. I was watching all the Luke scenes, the rest of them. I realized that I didn't really like that movie as much as I thought I did the first time I saw it. I still like it, but it got a little bit crazy. I'm not going to tell you how, because there might be some spoilers. Eh. Oh. You see here, I drew Devin Nunes, and uh, had to do some Googling of his fat face. Chris Matthews was talking yesterday about how he looked like a toady. And uh, it's not a very professional thing for a journalist like Chris Matthews to say, but he's entirely right. He, he does look like a toady. He does. And not the cool toadies who who sang Possum Kingdom. If you don't know that tune, you need to go look it up. <sighs> this memo is such BS, though. Say I didn't curse. Um, right now you're waiting for me to drop that next curse word, but I'm not going to do it. Um, it is BS. Just come up and say, nope, nothing to see here, folks. Move along, move along, move along. These people just do not care about finding the truth or, or national security. And you, you might think I'm partisan for saying that, but, and I, it can be partisan, like toward, I'm not partisan for po party. I really don't think I am. I'm always against Republicans, so that seems like I'm partisan, but it's not because I like Democrats so much. It's because I'm, I'm partisan about policy, about positions. I am very, very liberal. And if that makes me partisan, uh, it's not about the flavors. It's not about the team sports. It's not like I think it's okay to to attack Donald Trump for sexual affairs and not to attack Clinton. It's not like I'm not that kind of partisan. That's being partisan. You know, partisan is whenever you're like, oh no, the Clinton Foundation is just full of all sorts of pay for play. And then Trump uses his charity to buy uh, sports wear for his clubs and for himself and to pay off politicians. And you're like, mm, never heard about it. That's partisan. So, or like, hey, Jared is doing pay for play. Let's talk about pay for play. Talk about pay for play. Oh, it's actually happening now in the White House. If you vote for Hillary, you will have pay for play. And then now you have pay for play and you're like, eh. Eh. Did you hear about the pizza parlor? Eh. So I was thinking about I was going to do something on uh, Russians killing Russians in London, or I was going to do something on Betsy DeVos because I thought I really should hit her because uh, she's not doing our education system any failures, any failures. See, I think about her and I think about failures, and I told you I can't talk today. Um. Today I working on verbs with my Spanish like Puedos, Podemos, stuff like that, not Podemos, but Puedos. Look that up. And, uh, but then Trump goes and he fires Rick Sullivan. So I'll probably do something on that. I always feel bad when I do so many Trump issues in a row, but damn it. There's always something. And there's other stuff too. I'll just listen to those three. I'm still having fun with the oils. Uh, the tentacles were also kind of like a last minute thing. And somebody wrote on Facebook asked me where the tentacles coming from. And that's just one of those mysteries you have to work out for yourself. Use your imagination. I really like the way Devin's shoe turned out here. It's weird how the little things sometimes, uh, uh, it's the little things that I like. So, as I said, I slept three hours a day. And I, uh, I got up, and I was like, oh, well, I'm not ready to get up, and I lay back down, and it lasted like a minute, and I got up. It's a tough schedule. I, I was actually Googling baby bath toys, and I made sure that I had toys, and I didn't look for specific toys, because I didn't want, like, the FBI to think I was Googling naked babies. So. <laughs> so. I had a baby. Don't really need to see any more naked ones. So. Um. 
And I always lost the bath where every time it was time for the bath, I had to give the bath because my son did not like having his hair washed. We're talk I'm talking about screaming. And I lost every day for the bath thing. And my, my ex-wife, she might challenge it, but she'd be wrong. And she may not even challenge it. She might go, yeah, yeah you did that. But I, I know I gave more baths and, and hair washings than she did. I just know it. Never did like his haircut either. And I know I lost those taken by the barber. Eh, why am I talking about that? Anyway. But tentacles. You'd be glad to know I didn't even Google tentacles. I just figured I knew what tentacles were. Plus, I didn't want to Google tentacles the same night as Google like baby baths because what if it came out like baby bath testicles or something? Yeah. And there would be some knocking on my door. Or oh, what's worse is when they don't knock. <laughs> I had to redraw the uh, lip on the ducky several times. And even Google would make sure it was ducky Y or ducky IE. Dumb things. But the song was on YouTube and online as IE, so I went with that. And no, I didn't play the song because then it would be stuck in my head. He does look like a toady. He really does. I'm not saying my caricature of him is very good. It's not, but yeah, it looks like a toady. Looks like a scum sucking ass, kissing, but licking, suburban, psychophanic toady. Well, we're getting near the end because I'm coloring drunk. We are getting near the end. We got like a minute left. I told you I was going to look at the lyrics of that door song, but. I didn't do it, so I'm not gonna start singing it. The one line, the one word, no, for four words, yeah. How do I get cartoon ideas when I can't even think straight? I don't know. Think about food too. What am I gonna eat tonight? What am I doing, Rex Tillerson? How pink will I make these lips? I don't think I did anything after stuff. Oh, you know what? There's like about five minutes. Of, it's not five minutes of this video, but five minutes of real time. Where when they fired Rex Tillerson this morning, I stopped drawing and I was watching TV and I totally forgot to uh, stop the recorder. Okay, folks, there's your cartoon. It's all said and done. Nothing left but the crying. All right. I want to thank everybody for coming by and uh, hanging out, taking a bath with me. Um, put your clothes on, damn it. Um, Ariel, you missed the spot. Oh, click like and share this with all your buddies and weirdos, whether they're dressed or not. And uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and come back tomorrow and every day after that. Bye. <clears throat>